We will see. Oh, it's saying there's one person. Hey! In the Hall of Madness. Hello, how you doing? Good morning. It's like quarter to five here, but good morning to you, good sir. I'm just going to get my link to this. Look how terrible I look. Oh, I wonder if I can like turn that light off and make me look less ill. I guess I look pretty ill. Right. Let's have a swatch. I'm just going to put this on Twitter to see I'm live and stuff now. And then um, maybe we'll get to the unboxing and stuff. How are you all? Tell me how, how you're all doing. Tell me what's going on. Uh, oh, my baby's kicking me. It's uncomfortable. Right. Do, 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 do. Do. I cannot multitask, so I can't like type and converse. I'm very sorry. Also, look at the length of my fringe. Do you think I look like a Shetland pony? Like one of those ponies that like can't see. Um, right, I'm live unboxing competition. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Right. Okay. So that is now live on Twitter for people to know that I am I'm here. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to uh, use one of those websites that like randomly pick a comment and it'll tell us who won but I'll wait till like people arrive so that they're not just like oh did I win who won um, so we'll wait a bit but um, I didn't even bring over the boxes so all the boxes are over there so excuse me for two seconds So I feel terrible today, I don't feel very well whatsoever, hence why I look like absolute garbage, but it is no different from a lot of my videos where I look like garbage anyway. So I think we just have to accept it really, don't we? We just have to accept this is how I'm going to look forever now, I think. Um, I'm just going to open up my stream in front of me so that I can see the comments because I still haven't put a webcam on my computer yet. Uh, there we go. Smashing. Smashing. So I can now see what you're all saying. So that's great. Oh, there's Steg. Hello. And oh, there's Jesus for Christ. Hello, 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 everyone. How are you all doing? Can we open this can of juice? <laughs> Love your hair, so I brushed it today. <laughs> Literally the only thing I've done. I need to get my fringe cut because it's so long and I feel like a tramp. But that's fine. Anyway, how are you all? You alright? You doing okay? It's like Thursday today? Friday? It's Friday. We have a week to Christmas. I didn't know that. I had to look at my calendar. Are you all excited for Santa? I feel like you're all going to get coal. No, I'm like, you won't get coal. No coal. Right, I'm going to open up one of these Inku boxes while we wait for people to arrive. Because Inku is like the least exciting box. I've actually cancelled it now. Uh, I don't think I cancelled it in time and I've got to send another one. But Inku, if you don't know, is the um, is a, like Japanese stationery box thing. So you get like stationery stuff in it. So we'll open that and we'll see what we get. It's usually full of like washi tape, pens, stuff. This is October's box that I've just opened. Oh dear. Um, oh, it's a glass jar. So the glass jar, which looks like it's got pandas and shit in it. I got a wee when I was like, oh, because it's like actual glass. It's quite heavy. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? So, 
it looks like it's a wee jar and it's filled with bits for your paperwork, so like wee sticky notes and stuff. Wait, how cute is that? That's lovely, isn't it? So I'm not even going to open that, I'm just going to keep that and I'm probably going to give it to a friend for Christmas. Because that's cute, I do enjoy that. Next we have some masking tape, which is just washi tape. Um, also, I don't know what pandas go through Halloween, but alright. Um, and this one is like a, a spooky one. Because it's got like monsters and stuff on it. He's cute, he's his living life. But yeah, washi tape. Then we have what I presume is stickers. Again, don't know what they've got to do with Halloween, but they're stickers. Yeah. Then we've got more notes by the looks of it. Oh no, it's a mini letter set. So if you wish to send a tiny, tiny, tiny letter to someone, then there's a wee tiny letter set. So that's cute. That's nice. Move my nieces mate like that. We have a tape cutter. That's cute. So you put your cellar tape in it and then like it comes out this end and then you just cut it off. Or whatever with the reciprocated edge. It should be a edge somewhere, hopefully. Oh, it's up there. So yeah. Kind of get enough of them. I'll keep that. We have a pen. Just a pen. I think it might be green ink. No, it is. Just a pen. And then we have this, like, thing. Which is just blank paper. But there's stickers at the back. Not the glasses keep falling down. Uh, yeah, there's some stickers at the back. This is probably something I'm supposed to know. Let's have a look. Transform with this uh, card captor notebook. I don't know who card captor is, I don't know. Uh, designed in a classic retro school notebook style. Yeah. I don't know who Card Captain is, I've never heard of that anime or whatever, so apologies, but I mean I recognise I recognise like our staff thing. And I recognise this guy, but I've never seen this. But we had ego. You've got like literally just them on the outside, but all the inside is like fully blank. So that's cool. Um let's see how good this pen is. I mean it's a mint green pen, so I don't imagine it's going to be great, but let's have a swatch. Oh, that's alright. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. Right, let's put that to the side for now. We'll see what everyone's been saying to it. We have 57 people in, so maybe I'll do the competition soon. What's everyone saying? Everyone's just saying hello. Chinese dumplings are pasta? Are they? No they're not. Chinese dumplings like a dumpling. Surely it's just like it's like steamed. You don't steam pasta. Can you steam pasta? Right below it says answer the question so no. No, I would say, I would say they're dumplings. Dumplings are a thing of their own. I don't think they're like pasta or like anything else. Could you get, is it gnocchi? No. Like you get that thing that's like rice flour and it's squeaky when you make it. Is that gnocchi and it's got like a filling inside? I would class that as like a dumpling but not one you have to cook because you're already cooking the the flour and stuff together to make it into that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I dare not offend anyone by trying to guess. Um, okay, so would you take a chance to make Mexican food? Um, I like Mexican food as long as it's not super spicy, which is probably to defeat the purpose of making Mexican food. Um, who are you going to ask me? That's why. Ray did. Hi, Ray. Um, so, 
I would make it, but I would be shunned and mocked by everyone who liked Mexican food. Because I would just make it super bland and people would be like, why are you doing this? That looks disgusting. So, yeah. I don't make a lot of savoury food because I think with savoury foods and dinners and meals and stuff, people are very like, oh no, I wouldn't do it that way, I would add this and I'd add that and it would, I'd make it this way. Because everyone makes something differently. Even something as basic as like like roast meat, potatoes and veg, everyone's going to do that their own way. And whatever way you do it, if it's different from their way, you're wrong. So I just don't want to cause any fights. Because <laughs> people are very passionate about their meals. Because um, I was going to, after someone asked me to make stovies, I was going to film stovies today. And then I thought, no, it's definitely not worth the, the hassle because people are just going to be like, fam, that's not stories. Um, I'm going to evade this for two seconds. Hello. Um, that definitely made a difference. Yeah, that definitely made a difference. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I ask my friends how they make stories, they'll say, oh, well, I use mince or mince and sausage or mince with stew. And I use leeks and carrots and all that. Like, my stories are nothing like that. My stories are square sausage, potatoes and onion. So, long story boring, I would probably never film, like, a dinner or a Mexican thing. But I would definitely eat it. Right, we've opened this, uh, Yumi Twins box. I didn't tell you about it, I just done it. I just went ahead and done it, so I did. So we've got a wee handbag. A really cute handbag, and I think it's um, what oh, it's the, the 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 thing I keep forgetting how to pronounce. Tsumiko Garashi. I, I never pronounce it correctly, but it's a wee character for that, I'm sure. Next we have oh oh that's cool. I enjoy that. We have Hello Kitty straws. Yeah yeah. Oh, and apparently they're like. They're like squishy, so you like roll it up and put it in your wee carry case. Ah, oh, that's class. Comes with a cleaning brush. Oh, that's nice. I enjoy that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, put everything over here that I wish to keep. I actually have a pencil case like this, and it was £1.49 from Amazon and I had it when I uh, used to work in an office. Yeah, that's it. Literally full of pens right now. Um, so yeah, if, if you like, you see, it's like full of highlighters and stuff. Um, if you like this pencil case and you wish to have one for yourself, they are literally on Amazon and I think they're free delivery for one pound forty nine, if not cheaper. Um, so yeah. That's not a nail polish, but it looks like one. There's, like, what is this? I'm not going to open it in case it's something I can give away. And then there's like, is that Winnie the Pooh? I think that's meant to be Winnie the Pooh, you know? And it's got like tiny little like Winnie the Pooh bits inside, which I assume are erasers, because I can't see rubbers because people think I'm talking about condoms, but they're, I'm pretty sure they're erasers. Um, let me have a look. Why do we always play this guessing game where I'm like, is it this? When I could just look in the booklet and find out what it is. And there's, then no guesses would be needed. Why? Right. Get away with your leaflets, good stuff. What the heck do we? Right. Where are we? What's oh, a highlighter? The, the, the nail polish is a highlighter, apparently. Um, so you open it. Fuck it, we're opening it. We're opening it. I want to see. I want to have a look inside. Right. Something to do. Oh! Wasn't expecting that. For some reason I was still expecting a brush. There you go. Cool. And then that other thing. Oh, well it says it's to submit some. But it definitely looks like one of the food. Yeah. Oh, Sum Sum. Sorry, it was all one word in the title. And then after that, it's like separated. 
so please don't think I'm stupid, but it says like one word there, but then it's like two words there. Anyway, whatever. I so basic baby baby um Disney characters, so you can get many different kinds. I got one of the poo. So I've got a uh, my friend Haley may like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And a wee highlighter, and a wee pencil case. So we're stretching right out our nut today. Then next we've got Doki Doki. What date did this come in? Do 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 you have a date on you? Nope, let's just find out what kind of box it is. Uh, did anyone confirm whether or not uh, it was a pasta? There's dumplings for a pasta? Let's have a look. Uh, mm, it's made with the same kind of dough as pasta, so maybe almost, I don't know. Now, no one else wished to confirm whether or not dumplings were technically a pasta. Like, I think noodles are pasta. That's why Americans call noodles pasta. Because they boil them and stuff and the way they're made. But, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Aries says, please tell Buddha and Brunson I love them very much. Buddha! Aries loves you very much. Yes, he's looking at me like, why the fuck did you just wake me up? Where's Bronson? Oh, hello. You under there, son? He loves you very much. Yes. And Sindel. Oh, Sindel. How you doing? I've seen Sindel in ages. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. Right, let's open this massive... Usually when Doki Doki boxes are like this thick, there's usually a big massive toy inside, like a like a big plush. So we'll see. Ooh. How raging are you gonna be if there's no plush in this now? So we have another jotter that says USA chat. What are you up to today? I'm going to the new cafe. I want to go to weren't you on a diet? See if someone said that to me, I'd be fucking raging. I'll get serious stuck tomorrow. I'm gonna to go to my favourite idols concert. Okay, so there's like a chat between rabbits and this judgy motherfucker who's like, oh well, you're supposed to be on a diet, what are you doing about the cafes? But anyway, the line, it's just lined paper. Could you imagine if you were talking to your friends online and you're like, oh man, I'm going for dinner. And one of your pals was like, mm, you're on a diet though. Would you not like to stop being their friends? That's some toxic ass shit that you don't need in your life. So we didn't get a toy, like a big plush toy thing, but we did get this, which I think is a bath mat. So that's cool. I actually, I got a bath mat a while ago, months ago, and I actually do use that bath mat. It's actually in the, the ensuite behind me. I use it in there. Um, so that's nice. I have a new bath mat. I'm pretty sure the last one was my melody as well. That's adorable. It's a little cat sponge. He's munching on a fish. Oh, we've got a Karomi brush. Filled with glitter. And we have a Sumiko Garashi plastic plate. Happy days. Well, that was quite cool. I like those things. I just can't believe how judgy that person is. But I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this notepad because I'm a sucker for stationery. Um, right, so we've opened three boxes and we've got three more to go. So let's have a look to see um, who won this competition, shall we? So I'm just gonna basically open up um, like a random comment generator. Picker thing. Uh, so commentpicker.com. That'll do. And then I'm switchy because my hair's like in my face. I'm too very sorry for like constantly touching my face. Um, get to, okay, whatever. Right. Right. So let's get my tweet up on the go. Sorry, super professional. I know. Do do do. Where are we? There we go. Take the link for that. 
put it in there. That's Facebook. We don't want Facebook. Where are we? I don't want to log in with Facebook. What's the title for? Um, random picker. Let's try this one. Nope, that's no good. This is annoying. I'm sure I used that comment one before and it was not a Facebook thing, it was literally um, any platform. That's really annoying. Do, 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 do. No, we don't want that. I do apologise. Professional as always. I'm unprepared for a website in front of me. But we'll get there. It's fine. No, I don't want fucking Facebook. What is the deal? Um, free Roblox winner. Right, so I don't understand why why the world hates me and why I can't just pick a random comment from. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. If anyone knows of a website that would help me pick a random comment or even a random user, like from the tweet that I have, please tell me. Because right now I'm not doing great. Right, tweet at URL. Okay, let's try that. I'm not a robot. Okay, pick a winner. Okay, so in total there is 97 replies and Milky San. So the at for Twitter is following Milky San. New York cheesecake has always been my favourite cake. I want to get around to making my own sometime. But there you go, Milky San, you have won if you're here. If you're not here, I'm going to tweet at you anyway. But that's cool. So we have a winner. I am um, what I'm gonna do is pick a second winner because I've made two boxes and I just feel like making a random second winner who didn't realise they were going to be at it twice. So that's nice. So I'm going to copy that the now. I am a boomer. <laughs> right okay cool. So we have that. That wee winner's chilling there and uh, yeah as I say I made a second box and it's just sitting over there waiting to be sealed so I'm going to pick a random winner again so there's going to be two winners today for shits and giggles because I feel like it, why not, why not? Tis the season to, to give folk hangs tis always the season to give folk hangs but I... <laughs> I'm scrolling through the comments and I see his dick puncher hi Sue, <laughs> hi dick puncher, how you doing? Uh, throw a dart at the screen, that would have been a great idea. Where were you five minutes ago? Uh, right, cool. So Milky San. We have one winner, Milky San. Let's try again. So where is where is it? Is there is it? Right. Copy. Boop. Boop. We'll do that. We'll say we're not a robot. We will pick a winner. Also, I'm using the website called uh Shreeth. Oh, this person is Opal and their commissions are open. So they must be some sort of artist, which is cool. Uh, the at is Opal's Moonchild and they like tiramisu and they have posted a picture of tiramisu. So that's cool. So whoever that person is has also won. So I will also contact them on Twitters. So 
I'm just going to take a wee screenshot of them winning. Does anyone else uh, make sound effects for every movement that they make? Please tell me yes, because I don't want to be the only one. Boop. Well, that's exciting. So we have two winners. We have Fallen Milky San and Opal's Moonchild. So there we go. If anyone is looking for art or whatever, let's have a wee look at Open um, Opal Moonchild. I bet you they've got cracking up. Child. I'm going to say this and it's going to be like opals. There we go. There we go. Looks like wholesome shit. Whole Twitter looks like wholesome shit. So do recommend. Right. Happy days. So, two winners. I will contact them later. And uh, for everyone that didn't win, I'm really, really sorry. But it's taking part that counts. And also, it's telling me what cake you like, which really counts. Uh, and I really like to know what cake you like. If anyone's interested, by the way, which probably not, but my favourite cake is uh, birthday cake. But like, not Costco birthday cake, not like homemade birthday cake. I need that like, supremely cheap and generic birthday cake like see if you go to the supermarket and it's like a as the every price like smart price whatever it is and it's like three pound for a cake that feeds like 12 people and there's like no decoration on it it's just white fondant with like maybe like a fondant balloon or like a ribbon that goes around it the box is plain there's nothing on the box it's just the cheapest most generic birthday cake you can get that's my cake that is my jam um, I love that shit. It's full of cheap cream, cheap jam, cheap fondant. Love it. Love it. Right, so we've got a second Inku box. We're going to open that. What is this? It's like cling film. Why is he being cool? So yeah, he's a tape dispenser again. Or maybe a sticker dispenser. That looks like stickers to me. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Sumiko Garashi as well. So he's cute. I like him. We have a leaflet as always. Is this another tiny letter set? Masking tape. Oh, so it's like just a sheet or a couple of sheets of masking tape. But like really pretty masking tape to be fair. And it just says like you just make stuff out of it. So that's cool. This is one of those things that looks like it's going to be really cute, but it's actually a pair of scissors and it is quite lethal. I got one of these before. I don't know what it is right enough, but yeah, they're really sharp. It's like scissory things. So I can't give that away because I might be damaging people or sending, sending weapons. This looks like a pen that's like all multicolours and stuff like that. That is cool. Ooh. Next we have stickers maybe of Japanese symbols that I'd be too scared to use in case I offended someone and said something wrong. Next we have what looks like highlighter pens. Oh my god are these pen stamps like stamp pens? Oh, let's have a swatch of that. And then lastly we have a, a book that says precious memories but hold the phone. We're opening this. Remember when you were wee and you used to go to pens with the different scents, they all smelled good and they all had stamps on them and it was just the best thing ever. Right, so they also have like confetti or something at the top. See all that like glittery stuff at the top? And then there's a stamp and then nothing at the bottom. So let's have a look. Oh! Oh no. It's all about how you lift off, isn't it? Yes. Cool. Love that. I'm so happy. 
It looks like all of them are star shapes. But I don't understand what you're meant to do with the... Oh, the bottom comes away. And nothing happens when the bottom comes away. There's nothing there. Uh, I don't understand uh, what the stuff at the top is for, unless it's just for decoration. But it does look like it comes away separately. But I'm just going to open it in case shit just flies everywhere. But we have three highlighter pens. Where's my booklet? See if it tells you if you're supposed to do any of that confetti stuff. <sighs> Highlighters can be used as is or a star stamp. That's it. So the yeah, stuff at the top is just for decoration, just for shits and giggles. The other one is a uh, letter stickers, but they're all in uh, Japanese, so too good to use it. Then we've got a pen. Then we've got scissors. Yeah, so this sticker paper is made for a journal scrapbook cut into many shapes or styles. So that yeah, it's just sticky back paper, but it's like pretty sticky sticky back paper. So there's that. And a scrapbook. Ah, so a scrapbook's like literally like really thick canvasy paper, you know. So cool. Smashing. Hopefully that'll be my last inky box. I don't think, I personally don't think they're that worth it, to be honest. Um, I suppose it depends how much I like stationery. Right, I've closed my bloody stream in front of me, so I don't know what anybody's saying. There we go. There it's there. So let's scroll back a wee bit. Uh, <laughs> Milky Sun. Uh, I don't know what Zar is, but thank you very much for 35 of it. Um, I appreciate that. Keep up, uh, keep it up, so hope the swollen feet uh, are all good. Um, I actually do have swollen feet, uh, and they are. They're fine. Thanks very much. <laughs> I got, I got compression socks and all that kind of stuff. Being pregnant is not very glamorous, but it is what it is. We had a scan yesterday, and. Um, We've had um, a lot of scans because of my IVF, and um, she always hides her face. She's always like, nah, nah fam. So we had, um, we've never seen like our face properly. So we had booked in for a scan, and then when we went in, it was two weeks ago, and then she had her hand here, and we were like, just go walk, have some water, jump around a wee bit, get her moving and stuff, and come back. Well, right, cool. So we came back about an hour later, been walking constantly. I was like dance walking, like pure jumping around while walking. And I got back and she was she'd put one hand across there, one hand up here, and she'd put her feet, like her knees, up at her chin. So she was like, nah. So then two weeks later, as in last night, we went back and she was the exact same. She had a hand up at her face as if get out of my face. And then uh, we went a walk, we came back, and then it was the same. She had her hand back over. But then after maybe 25 minutes of constantly like poking my belly she finally moved her arm away enough that we could see like this much of her face so I've got some pictures of like this bit here but again they're not great but she's adorable from what I can tell but she's a uh, just a menace just a menace like a bad right we have two boxes left so we do but 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 I have no immune system, so I have a cold and a runny nose, so I'll be back in two seconds. Have to blow my nose, guys. Hi, how you doing? Being gross, really sorry about that. One thing no one tells you about being pregnant is it's like um, it's like having the cold, <laughs> like all the time. You just have cold, cold-like symptoms all the time, all the time. I'm just sanitising my hands now, just in case you think I'm 
like being gross. Um, I all the time. So yeah, there's that. And then when you're having a baby during COVID, and everyone's like, "Oh, she's coughing," or oh, she's got COVID. I don't. I just have a cold. But thanks. We have two more boxes, and then we'll be done. And then I'll be honest with you. I probably won't stream again for like a few months, probably. I'll try and stream. Bronson, can you not smack your lips right now? I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably won't stream for a while because like I want to try and take some time over the holidays and we've had so many uh, like workmen in and so much stuff happening that I've not actually had a minute to stop and just be pregnant. <laughs> so I'm going to try and like take some time off. Um, not that it really matters. I know that I don't obviously contribute a lot to content and stuff. Like I try and upload every week and whatnot. But um, for anyone that does care, um, I think that my hamper videos will probably be my last videos until the new year and then maybe the end of January, February-ish, I'll do maybe one or two and then when she's born I won't do any for a, a wee while I would say. Um, but it's all depending really isn't it? But I'm just really tired, I'm just really done in and I, I just need some time off I think. A wee bit of maternity leave, everyone gets maternity leave I think. I don't know. Um, what are you all saying? At least she didn't moon you. I would never moon you. I would never put you through that, that anguish, that pain. Uh, Jesus Christ Christ is having leftover pizza and cheesy bread. That sounds awesome. Um, what else are you saying? Helbert says you'll miss my content. Thanks very much. Helbert, there's no way that you enjoy my content. There's no way. I know you. Um, where are we? Grant's pooping. I hope you have an enjoyable poop, son. Cannibal Cud. How are you? How are you, Cannibal Cud? You alright? You doing alright? By the way, I think that we're, we're now caught up and we're now in order because I just got a Christmas plush. So we're on the Christmas boxes, guys. We are here. We got there eventually. So, oh. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an actual handbag. Oh. That's cool. Karomi exclusive Christmas plushie. How nice. It's got like a wee fake leather strap and all that. Lovely. That's good. Next we have that Sum Sum Disney baby things. I am not a Disney kind of guy. Disney has never appealed to me. I actually haven't even bought any Disney stuff for the baby coming. Like, I know it sounds terrible, <laughs> but like she doesn't have any Disney baby grows, any Disney toys, anything like that. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll obviously watch Disney movies and she'll be able to see Disney movies and then she'll detect, she can tell me what she likes, but see people that force Winnie the Pooh on their kids, like, I don't know. Uh, anyway, that I so they, they're playing cards. They are, they are playing cards. So that's cool, I guess. Um, next we have this. So it says exclusive Sanrio holiday cushion. Oh no, no, I'm telling you lies, it's not. It's a moisturising cream. <laughs> Sorry, I'm telling you absolute fucking lies here. Uh, defeat the menace of dry skin during winter uh, with, with Kirby's moisturising cream. So there you go. Um, this this one this one is the, is the cushion. This is a wee Christmas Sanrio cushion. I don't know what you're going to do. With such a small cushion, but we have a tiny cushion. And next, I've already had one of these. In the... That's my guard dog protecting me from that. Um, 
I've already had one of these in the past. It's like a wee Kirby on wheels and then you like pull him back and he goes. I'm sure I put this in a giveaway at some point. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's that full box. Full box is empty. Empty. Oh, there's Tail Tweetcher. I got a, I got a Christmas card for him today. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. Uh, Marcus put it in the mantelpiece. The only the only Christmas card we have in the mantelpiece, because all our Christmas cards are in the hallway. But he uh, did not notice all the Christmas cards in the hallway, so put it on the mantelpiece. So it's very special Christmas cards, as you can tell. Sending all my very best wishes to you, Sue, and the Bairn, and the thank you one. Me every. Everything go safe and well for the rest of your pregnancy. Thank you very much. It's a very, very, very kind thing to say. And I appreciate it. Because as far as I'm aware, you need as much luck as you can get. <laughs> Women have been doing it their whole lives, man. It's fine. It's all right. <laughs> right. Last box. Oh, did you know? Last box we have... It's not Christmas Eve, it's November's box. Stay. Right. Smiko Garashi thing again, I think that's a purse. Um, let's open the booklet and we'll, we'll see what they are at the same time. Holy shit! No! So I just opened it. You get an oven glove fan. Right. Hold on, I'm going to dig through and get his oven going. Oh my lord! Oh loudy! Yes! Look at his wee bum. Look at that tail. How nice! Yeah. A wee Sheba. A wee Sheba cooking mitt, apparently. Look at his ramen. Look how good that ramen looks. Ah, oh, that's cool! I like that. Next, we have a coaster. For your drinks. And then we have a cup. So apparently it's made of bamboo. Oh. Oh. Nope. I don't do not enjoy the feel of that. Um that's going straight back in this plastic sleeve. So I fun fact about me, I hate uh hate terracotta. So I think like a plant pot to move sheer terracotta or like a chalkboard feeling. Can't stand it, can't touch it. Feel this cup. I just accidentally touched it on stream and it feels like terracotta. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, aye, aye. Yeah, inside it, I don't aye, it's that. disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, aye. But it's not disgusting well, no, no, to no, normal no. people. Put it back in the plastic so I can touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? You just stood in the book. You, you fucking oh, shouted no. me in. Just because I just thought you were like trying to show you a wee bit. I don't know. I don't know no, I was just looking. Like, I was like, oh man. Oh, I, no, it's the webcam's right there. I'll make you learn one day to put like. Right, okay. I'm streaming through my phone and I. Bonjour. Yeah. I just announced my maternity leave as well. Maternity leave? Hi. As soon as you get the family leave. Acid. Acid. So you're still getting paid? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Pee pee. Pee bye. We chopsticks. Smeekle garage and chopsticks. So that is the last thing you get in that box. That was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so that one was a, a bread. Plush is supposed to be like bread, like a wee roll, maybe. Don't know. But there we go. So, for anyone who may not know, under my desk here, there's two boxes Grandson, Grandson. Okay, so there's two big boxes, right? One of them is for like all my technology stuff, like my cameras and all that kind of stuff. The other one, oh, I have to take the lid off of it, is this size and is usually full to the very, very top of stuff that I give away. It is now 
three quarters of the way empty. Um, and I'm going to fill it up with this stuff and give away the two boxes I've already emptied this box with. So in the future, in the new year, I'll do another giveaway or another two, maybe, probably. Um, yeah. Just in case you're like, what stuff do you get? I literally collect everything until this box is full and then I just give stuff away. There's a lid for this box, which is also like velvety, and that's where Bronson sleeps. <laughs> well, it's one of the many places that Bronson sleeps. He um he sleeps under my desk when I'm sitting there. That's probably why you can hear him snoring sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I've been streaming for 45 minutes, so I can go. But if you wish to ask me any questions or talk to me about anything before I go, now is your chance if you do. Um, I'll kick it around for like five minutes more, maybe ten minutes more, and then um, I'm going to go and make dinner. What are you all having for dinner, actually? Inspire me. What are you having for dinner? Oh, I know. I'm having wee individual tiny steak pies with, well, I'm having one steak pie with boiled potatoes and the carrots. Marcus is having boiled potatoes, carrots, and sweet chilli fish. That's what we're having. So tell me in the comments, please, Heaven. Red Fawn says, I request a sugar cookie recipe. I have never made sugar cookies, but I know they're American, and I know that Americans hate them. You either love or hate them. And I don't understand why anyone would make them if you hate them, but they look pretty bland. They look like a very sweet biscuit. And then they've, got, they've got, usually got like sprinkles around the edge. But sprinkles are like notoriously difficult to eat, um, but they're pretty. So I could do it if you want, but I just, I'm terrified that I'd put it in it and then it'd be crap. <laughs> I don't know. If you're American and you like sugar cookies, tell me. I want to know. Um, it's not even lunch time for me yet. Yeah, but you can plan ahead and you can you can think about dinner. George's having lasagna, smashing choice. Uh, Burnsy says, I got my Japanese girlfriend British themed cute stuff for Christmas. What kind of cute stuff is British themed? Like, Bronson, Bronson's just made a bed on top of all those empty boxes. Um, is that like tiny wee, like, I don't even know, post boxes or something? Like, I don't know, like, what is British themed toys? Uh, Where are we? Someone's having chicken nugs. Carlos is having breakfast. That's fine. That's okay. You need to have dinner at some point though. Ray makes some apple pie. Ray, I do want many apple pies. So I make I make individual apple pies and they're fucking oh they're so nice. They're so nice, right? I was gonna make them a few weeks ago, but fruit and veg is repulsive to me right now. Um, I try my best to eat what I can, but as a pregnant lady, my 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 body just it cannot stand fruit and veg. So I friggin' love apple pie, um, but I, I can't, I tried to make myself an apple crumble and it literally, what was it, it tasted like pepper. It tasted like pepper. And I was like, why, why is this so peppery? It wasn't hot, spicy peppery, it was like black pepper. And it was just, I was like, oh, it was disgusting. So, I really don't want to have to make these apple pies and then be like, this is how you do it. And then be like, trying it and be like, mmm, delicious, but it's actually disgusting to me. So once I'm no longer pregnant, I will show you my apple pie recipe. But basically I make Dutch apple pies and the wee individual ones, they're quite deep. So maybe this would, so it's pastry filled with like apple, but it's like apple with like, it's almost like a caramelized sort of syrup. Then on top, I've got a crumble that's mixed with oats and it's mixed with brown sugar and then butter and it caramelises and it oh, oh they're so good not right now but they are so good so I'll make a video making them um, Space is having cigarettes and self-loathing for dinner please don't do that have like a piece and cheese at least it's just something small if you can't be after eating chicken pie boiled potatoes and veg for Sophie sounds good 
Sugar cookies with royal icing is the only way. It also helps retain moisture. From Grant. I don't know, man. I think that sugar cookies seem like the blandest biscuit to me. And royal icing is also like the blandest icing. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Jesus fried Christ, Prego cravings are whack. They certainly are because I'm a vegetarian. Oh, I eat meat. Um, Wyatt, or what? I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm really sorry. It says, I know it's a week early, but Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, sir. And I'm very sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong. Uh, shock horror to my absolute fucking disbelief. Tailed features having a, a piece of ham and cheese, because that's all he ever fucking eats. Um, petition to get um, Tailed Feature to actually cook normal food. That'd be great. I've tried so hard to get him to like embrace cooking, and he's not for it, man. But you're gonna you're gonna be like, and the two things are gonna happen. You're gonna hit like forty, and you're gonna be like, man, I wish I'd had some vegetables. Or you're gonna hit like hundred and fifty, and you're gonna be like, I told you all that vegetables and fruit was shit, and you actually just need cheese toasties all day. But aye, you need to you need to eat better, son. We worry about you. <laughs> So Shadow Goddess says, so cookies are biscuits? No. No. Biscuits are cookies if you're American. But cookies... I guess in Britain, cookies are biscuits. We would call them a biscuit. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Just generalised. If you think of like an American cookie, so they're like this size and they're like chock full of shit like pretzels and marshmallows and chocolate chips and all that kind of stuff, that to me is a cookie. But our cookies, we get them and they're all the same shape and they all look the exact same, they're all about that size and you get them in like boxes and stuff. Um, is it Mary Wands or something they're called? So that's our chocolate chip cookies and they're biscuits because they're like this thick. <laughs> they're all the exact same shape and size and description, they're all perfectly similar. And I would call them biscuits because American cookies and what I would say a cookie is, is very different from a biscuit. Um, I think that biscuits to us are all very uniform, cut, perfect things. You know? I don't know. Tell me if that makes sense. I'm not sure. Um, Shadow Goddess, I'm confused as well. I confuse myself. Tail to be eating homemade bolognese. I don't believe it for a second. Do not believe for a second that you have been eating anything other than pieces of cheese and ham. Turn your hands while you're under arrest. What? When I think of biscuits, I think of breakfast biscuits. I see it breakfast joints. So is that like an American biscuit? So you think of scones? I don't understand. Uh, pretzels and marshmallows, never had that kind of cookie. I but that's an American cookie. So like, if you look up like American cookie recipes, a lot of them have like a lot of junk in them. Not junk. Junk's a terrible word. What I mean is like, um, you get like a lot of like Smarties or yeah, pretzels and stuff and like fudge pieces. It's kind of like, it's like a dough and then you put it down and then it's filled with stuff or you'll get like, dough and then they put stuff in the middle and put dough on top of it again and then it will be able to be this thick but then they cook down and they flatten that that's a cookie to me but it's just bacon man you can just whatever you want it to be it can be it it's fine to stay bothered tailed why do you not have a microwave Uh, Hentai Happy says road camera microphone is good. Yes, but this camera is terrible. Um, for me, biscuits is as plain and don't have sugar on it. Oh no, that sounds like a cracker. Biscuits are plain and don't have sugar on it from Cel Celix. If a biscuit was plain and didn't have sugar in it or on it, then that would that would be like a cracker to me, like a really thick. Like, if you made that biscuit with oats, that'd be an oat cake. No? 
don't know. Um, put anything you find in your cabinet in the dough to make an American cookie. Aye, pretty much. Sue Hutzel says, responds to me, are you a savage? What? What am I responding to? What did you say? The Patriot, when you go to put your hand on you, like, the thinking, I don't know what any of that means. I'm sorry. Um, remember, I'm stupid. Like, are you talking about a reference that I might know? Or a film or something? I don't know. Um, to us, cookies are dessert. Biscuits are for dinner food. Aye. But then I made a video because biscuits are like the things that are like this size. Excuse me, and they're like scones, because the the exact same recipe as scones, but you use buttermilk, um, so they're like thicker. So you, but you have them with dinner, and you have them with like sausage gravy stuff. I don't know. I had a look at that gravy recipe, and it freaked me out a bit. It's like a white gravy with salt and pepper and stuff in it. Um, when I think of cookies, I think of things like you go to Pizza Hut and you get cookie dough and ice cream, and they give you like a tiny skillet. Well, I say a tiny skillet. It's in regards to skillets, it's quite small, but in regards to a cookie, it's fucking massive. So it's like this size, and it's got like a handle, and the full thing is full, filled with a cookie, and they fuck ice cream on top of it. That to me is a cookie, because you would never eat that as a biscuit, because you would have biscuits with cups of tea, and they're small. I don't know. Uh, Buckfast cookies? How would you make a Buckfast liver cookie? You could maybe make like Buckfast gingerbread. You could definitely make Buckfast gingerbread. Basically see anything that you make that's got treacle in it. You would reduce your Buckfast down to a syrup and replace the treacle with a buckfast and then you can make it a buckfast cake that's what i would do um so yeah gingerbread uh parking like ginger cake all of those things you could absolutely make them into buckfast um other than that i can't think of anything else you could maybe make like buckfast oatmeal raisin cookies by soaking the raisins in buckfast and then using them in the cookies. But yeah, I can't think of anything else that you would. Yeah, I think basically it becomes so thick that you're replacing treacle. That's what I would do. That's, that's what I would do. <coughs> Tails, who's a weapon? Uh, Buckfast sorbet, absolutely fucking not. That sounds awful. Oatmeal hazelnut cookie muffin hybrid. Oatmeal hazelnut cookie hybrid. Oatmeal hazelnut cookie muffin hybrid. The only thing I can think of is making like a muffin with like an oatmeal hazelnut crust on top. Like make like a, just a normal chocolate chip muffin. And then on top of it, having like toasted hazelnuts and oatmeal stuff, like or porridge or whatever, and make like a crumble, and then put that on top, and then when it bakes, it will bake as one, and you'll have this nice. That's the only thing I could think of to make that into a cake. Um, for a chocolate chip recipe, I'd bucky no, no, that sounds disgusting. Also, the bit of the buckfast would just separate everything, I think. Uh, is there any chance you could do a Scottish Stew video? No. I think I said this at the very, very start of the video that I don't like to do savoury videos because everyone has their idea of what is correct and anything outside of that is wrong in their eyes and everyone is different. So how you make spaghetti bolognese will be different from how I make spaghetti bolognese and so you'll be like, no, no, my way is right, so what you're doing is wrong. 
and then all the comments would be like, why are you doing it this way? And everyone would be angry at me. And it's just, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> so I, no, I don't think I'll do any, uh, anything like that. Um, because there's uh, Tales of Future talking about stories as well. No, I was considering uh, making stories, but I make my stories with square sausage. And then they'll have like 45 million Scottish people being like, that's not how you make squares, that's not how you make stories. Stories is made with stew, or it's made with mince, or it's made with sausage, but I like link sausage and stuff. Like, I don't put carrots in mine, I don't put leeks in mine, but other people do do that, and I think that I'm doing it wrong. But, so I, I, that's why I don't do meals, because people will judge. <laughs> people will judge you anyway, and that's fine, but people are very passionate about their, their main meals that they make. So, that's why. Uh, Shadow Goddess Stovies is a Scottish meal. It's kind of like um, a one pot thing. And um, so my Stovies is basically boiled potatoes, boiled sausage, boiled onion, and you make a gravy. Other people's could be like mince, carrots, onions, leeks. And you literally just throw it all in one big fucking pot and then eat it. Um, but everyone's is different. People are fickle. People aren't fickle, people are just passionate. Obviously some people are fickle. Sorry, I need to sit on my oh, sit on my foot because I'm very uncomfortable. Um some people are fickle, obviously, right? but that's not what I mean. What I mean is like people are very passionate. Um because there's things people grow up with. Like I grew up with stovies. I grew up with my stovies. So people are very, very passionate about things that they grew up with. Um I once knew someone who uh, mince and tatty pie. I'd never heard that before, but they were offended that I didn't know what it was and had never heard it before. So I think that I just don't want to upset anyone's childhood memory of what things are or anyone's like traditional foods. You know? You ever made rag pudding? No, I've never heard of that before. Um. Burnsy, that's the least of my worries, what's Burnsy saying? To be fair, Tail just asked if I was going to make Scotch broth. I'd make Scotch broth soup because that's a basic, that's like there's one way to make that and then you would, there's variables, so you'd add or remove one or two things and that's fine because that's just the same as bacon. With bacon you would have a constant, you would always have the same amount of flour, sugar, butter, ratio. Then you just add different bits to make it whatever you want it to be. So soups and stuff are fine. Like I make minestrone soup and all that kind of stuff. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing soup videos if someone wanted to see soup videos. But who wants to see soup videos? Burnsy said that Tailed should learn how to cook so that he can impress the ladies. I, I think that he should learn how to cook so that he can at least feed the ladies. <laughs> um, it's not really so much about impressing them. Maybe like just be able to like cook them dinner. Um, anything after that is a bonus. Do you know what I mean? Beef and onion soup pudding boiled in a rag. Mm, I don't mind steam puddings and stuff. Um, I would usually make steam pudding in a terracotta pot though. I wouldn't cook it, I wouldn't cook like a meat pudding in a rag. A lot of them are in like a bowl and then you, you tin foil the top of the bowl and then you tie it all up and stuff like that and you would steam it in water and stuff. Um, but I've never like boiled like a meat pudding before. I don't know how that would go. I think it's silly how passionate people are about how some things are cooked. Swedish, um, the Swedish metals for me is how my mum made them, but I don't go in people's faces when they cook meatballs in the oven. That's fair, but you'll always, you'll always be like, oh, the way my mum made them is the best. Um, so if anyone made you it differently, you'd be like, mm, it's not as good as my mum's. And that's the issue because online, people would be very much like, mm, my mum made it this way, so that's not right. And they're right and they're wrong in the same sense, like, 
there's the only wrong way to cook something is cooking it in a way you're going to hurt someone. <laughs> the only wrong way to make something is to make it in a way that you're going to poison or kill yourself or you're ethically wrong, like you're fucking, I don't know, there's just, but there's, if you're cooking something and it's a wee bit of something that you think it might be and you eat it and it's great and everyone's happy, then you've achieved, you've achieved what you want. That's it. It's this, it's, it's this food, man. It's this food. Um, is it Proctor? Proctor says, Hi, Sue. Hope you're well. Hi. How you doing? Hope you're okay. Right. So I'm going to go because I've been on here now for 65 minutes. Um, I need to go and walk, walk about, get my get my muscles moving and stuff. Can't sit for too long. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to message these people on Twitter, tell them the one. And yeah, a week till Christmas. So have a fantastic Christmas. If I look up there, my calendar's there, that's why. <laughs> I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Hope you have a great new year. I'll hopefully see you in the next month or so and I'll do a couple more gives away, gives away, giveaways. Um, and then after that I won't see you for a few months hopefully because I'll be dead dead busy with baby. And yeah, I'll still be on Twitter and stuff. So if you want to talk to me on Twitter, I'll be there. I'll be kicking about. And I do endeavour to try harder to make more of an effort to play Among Us on my Discord. So I do need to organise that as well. So I'll need to speak to Cow or someone to help me organise that. So if you're in my Discord, then I'll see you there and we'll play Among Us and it'll be great and I'll kill you because that's just what I, that's just the name of the game. Well, I'll attempt to kill you. So yes, I'll see you all later. Have a great evening. Enjoy everything that you're going to eat and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.